Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on ESP IDF with VS Code playlist. My name is Hariharnath. In this video, we'll get started with BLE, that is Bluetooth Low Energy, using ESP32 and VS Code. I'll also show you a demo on how to build a Bluetooth scanner. We'll be setting up entire project from scratch using ESP IDF framework in VS Code. And also learn how to use SDK config or menu config to enable Bluetooth for the project. Let's get started with the video. So first, we'll try to understand what is BLE. So BLE full form, as I mentioned, Bluetooth Low Energy. So before Bluetooth Low Energy, there was some versions called as Classic Bluetooth, which we use every day in our cars, headphones, printers, etc. So these are the Classic Bluetooth, which requires data streaming and rich data to be transferred. But later on, from Bluetooth 4.0 version, BLE was introduced. Because of the rise of IoT devices, there was no need of having always on connection with the Bluetooth devices. And also there was a problem of batteries with this Bluetooth, that is classic Bluetooth. So that's why Bluetooth Low Energy was introduced, which actually only sends the basic events and it doesn't consume so much of energy and we can use a coin cell and that can be used for months or years based on the uh, optimization that we have. So here we don't need any kind of device pairing and that is the major difference you can see and because of the pairing itself there is a lot of connection, uh, overheads and the battery wastage. And now we can see this is the power efficient version of Bluetooth designed for IoT. And what is the goal of BLE? As I mentioned, so because of the rise of IoT devices, we just need to send some events. For example, you have to just unlock your car. So you can just send a basic Bluetooth command or an event so that the lock will be unlocked. So like that. And if you want to send any kind of hot rate monitoring events, so that also will be coming under this BLE events. And because of these small chunks, we are using BLE and that is using very little battery. And some of the examples in everyday life we can see are smartwatches. So our smartwatches are connected and then fitness trackers, temperature sensors or an ESP32 beacon that we'll see in a next tutorial. So how we are making ESP32 as a beacon and advertise our program, then this also becomes an BLE example. And this BLE is not for continuous data streaming like wireless headphones that we use and also some kind of file transfers that we do previously from mobile to mobile. So for that we need classic Bluetooth. We can't use this BLE. So we'll also understand some of the core concepts. So basically for Bluetooth devices, we have two distinct roles. One role is called as peripheral, which is kind of server and this is also known as the advertiser. For example, we have heart rate sensor. So that sensor keeps on publishing the data or advertising the data. So that is called as server or an advertiser. But in general, the role in Bluetooth language is called peripheral. So this is nothing but a low power device. Its job is to advertise its presence and make its data available. So that's it. And next one is the central. So central is another role which is nothing but a client or a scanner. For example, we have this heart rate sensor using our mobile application or mobile. So you will be able to scan this and find its data. So that is called as central. So this is kind of more powerful device like our mobile phone, laptop or Raspberry Pi. So that can orchestrate the communication. So the job of this central device is nothing but scanning the peripherals and connecting to them to get some information. So here also you can see the example like smartwatch, it is connecting to our mobile phone and trying to give some information. So this smartwatch is a peripheral device and our mobile phone is a central device. So in this tutorial, we'll be building a BLE scanner. So the BLE scanner that we are going to build will be based out of ESP IDF framework and we'll also use ESP32 to find different Bluetooth devices nearby. So let's get into the project. 
So first we need to open VS Code. So in VS Code, we also need ESP IDF to be set up. So this ESP IDF configuration, once it is set up, you can see ESP IDF Explorer. So if you don't see this, which means that ESP IDF extension is not set up and you need to watch my previous video to set up that because that is a basic prerequisite to work on this project. So you can watch that video from the top right corner or from the description below. So once the setup is done, you can click on this ESP IDF Explorer and then you will be greeted with this welcome page. So for this program, as we are going to use some examples, so you can use show examples. So this Bluetooth scanner is nothing but like a uh, hello world for this BLE. So we need to select your ESP IDF version. So then this examples will be open. So here you need to search for GAT. So in this GAT, you can find GAT client. So here you can see what is this used for. So here you can also use the readme file to understand what is it. And also you can see the supported targets. As we are going to use ESP32, this is supported. And also all other boards of ESP, those are supported can be seen here. And we can see this is GAT client. So you can see GAT client demo will start scanning and connect to a GAT server demo automatically. So we don't have to connect anything. In this example, we'll just do the scanning. So we can use this select location for creating GAT client project. So you can select the location. Once you select that, the GAT client will be opened. So you can go to main file. In the main, you can see this dot c file so that is the file that you need to check and also you can find sdk config dot defaults so here without doing anything like menu config or sdk configuration because we have selected the template it has already taken bluetooth as enabled all the features of 5.0 not needed 4.2 is needed and like that whichever are needed so they have taken that as a default so if you want to change them you can change or you can use this as it is for this tutorial you don't have to change anything and then click on gatc.demo now you need to connect your esp32 onto your laptop so once you have connected you can click on this esp idf explorer and then you need to select the flash method so you can select uart and after that select the port that you want to use use com3 and also you can select the device target that is esp32 and which kind of kit you have so i'll select esp32 chip so now the target has been set so next thing that we can do is build flash and monitor. So I'll click on this so that it will do all the tasks at a time. So you can see build is done and it is trying to connect to our ESP32 and then it is trying to flash. So now we can see the flashing is also done and also it will start the monitoring. So you can see the monitoring has started and continuously it is monitoring because those devices are advertising every second. So that is the reason we are seeing it continuously and we are not able to stop this. So for that what we need to do is we need to do a small tweak in the program. So you can go back to this line where it is saying ESP BLE scan parameters and scan duplicate. So here instead of disable we need to make it enable. So before running the code, I'll just see what are the names that we got. So we got some geo setup box, IOTV and some uh, MAC addresses without name. And the same thing is getting repeated continuously, you can see. So now if you want to avoid these duplicates, we can use this parameter so that it will enable the filtering of duplicates. So again, I'll click on build flash and monitor. 
so now we can see the scanning is started but the only difference is it is not recurring and what are the unique names then only it is getting it so you don't see any duplicates here so now i can reset the esp32 by clicking a button so that we can see again what will happen so it is starting the code again now we can see the code some of the names like iotv geo setup box bip s light this is a smartwatch this is a setup box tv etc all are we are able to find them here so this is how you can scan and get the nearby bluetooth devices now we can simply look into some of the important uh, code snippets i will not go in depth but i'll try to explain you what are the important details to know the first thing is app main so as we know in esp idf this is the first program that will be running and here we'll be having a sequence of initializations first bluetooth controller will be configured enabled and then blue droid so that will be initialized and enabled and we also see some of the uh, services that will be registered like this and then we can also see something called scanning so i'll show that scanning so in the esp gap cd so this is an event handler so in this we can see this is the main function that is starting the scanning and uh, next thing is this we have talked about which is the main event handler so brain of scanning the events and then it will be having all the advertising related events also sent here and here in this we can see one of the important code snippet is the scan result event so this is the most important piece where we'll be able to see how our scan results will be appearing what are the details that it is going to send so we can see the mapping scan result and advertising details what is the data length all those things are being taken care and returned as a result now that you have built a scanner to find ble devices using esp32 what if you could create your own ble beacon which can be discovered in the next video we'll build a beacon out of esp32 and discover it on our mobile phone so stay subscribed and hit the bell icon to get the notification when the next video is released if you found this video informative please type helpful and smash that like button you can watch more tutorials on esp idf from this playlist thank you for watching and i'll see you in another interesting video